Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Storytime in the Galleries. Today's book is Perfect Square by Michael Hall, read with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. This story is about a square that undergoes a transformation. This reminds me of a painting in the galleries. Let's take a look. This is Homage to the Square, Early Rising 2 by Joseph Albers. Here, the artist has painted a series of overlapping squares. He made hundreds of paintings exploring this theme, studying the relationships of combinations of different colors. Notice how an orange next to another orange has a completely different quality than an orange next to a blue. Now, on to the story. Perfect Square by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. The square's red. And it was perfectly happy. Oh look, here the square has a smile. But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. So it made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. Oh here, look, a couple birds have landed on the fountain. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. So it made itself into a garden. On Wednesday, the square was shredded into strips. Looks like these strips are all greens. So it made itself into a park. Oh look, there's a kite in the park. On Thursday, the square was shattered. So it made itself into a bridge. With lights on top. On Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. Looks like they had some special scissors for this one. So it made itself into a river. On Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. So it made itself into a mountain. On Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. It waited and waited Nothing happened. Its four equal sides were confining. Its four matching corners were rigid and cramped. Oh no, now the square is frowning. So it made itself into a window that looked out on a mountain that gave birth to a river, that was crossed by a bridge, that led to a park, that was home to a garden, that had, at its center, a fountain, that babbled and giggled and clapped. Look, now the fountain has kids underneath. The End after the story, we make something inspired by what we've seen and heard. Let's play with squares and color. Gather different sizes and colors of construction paper squares, as well as scissors. Play with layering them in different ways. How do the colors change? Experiment with changing a square. You can cut it, tear it, or punch holes in it. You can even make a series. Got 
Thanks for joining me. See you next time.